Hey everyone, Dave Mathias here. So today I'm going to talk about the cobra effect. Cobra effect, you might be like, woo, cobras. Yes, it's actually the snake. And there's a valuable lesson that we can learn from something that came uh, in history not that long ago. And let me tell you the story around uh, Delhi, India. And Delhi had a cobra problem. And this was under British rule uh, back in the 20th century. And so what happened was, because there are so many venomous snakes, uh, the cobras, there was a incentive that was provided to bring dead snakes in. The thought being, we want to get rid of these snakes, let's encourage people to go out and kill them and bring uh, those dead carcasses uh, to get a monetary reward. So, yes, that happened. And, well, actually some bad things happened. What do you think that bad thing might be? Yeah, you might have guessed it. When you start giving a monetary reward in a situation like this, if it's enough, maybe it's worth actually creating more snakes uh, so that you can get more reward. And so the result was there was actually a bigger problem with cobras than before because of the reward. And so this is what the cobra effect is named after. And certainly I'm sure there's many situations that you can think about in your life where something like this happened, where there was good intent, a incentive was placed out there. Uh, but it led to a bad result. And sometimes there might be a good result out of incentives and a bad result. But uh, but in this case, pretty much the bad result happened and more snakes actually uh, came about. And so whatever you're doing, whether it's in your personal life, your professional life, think about those instances where those incentives that might be put out there where it might lead you to uh, take a bad action or that you may put a incentive out there that may lead others to bad actions and try. So what can you do? Well, it's not that hard, actually. There's a few things that you can try. One, of course, is you can look at what others have done. And so if this type of situation has been done by another community, another organization, this type of incentive that you're looking to roll out, learn from others. What have other people done? Uh, certainly, another way to go about it is to get uh, people to give input. So thinking about whoever your stakeholders that the incentive is going to be rolled out to, Make sure that there's input that's being given and open and honest input from at least a segment of those, again, will be a good way uh, to help minimize potential COBRA effect situations. And of course, the third way and a real ideal way to do if you have the bandwidth and the uh, time to do this is experiment, test don't roll something out to everyone at once and all of a sudden create an organization-wide incentive that leads to uh, some negative impacts. So instead of can you test it at a, a couple locations, can you uh, run it for a trial period and see how it works and see if there's uh, any changes that occur. Now you have to make sure that your experiment, of course, is done in a way that's really indicative of, of long-term incentives and what those outcomes will be. Uh, but Hopefully you can try a few of these things out and help minimize the cobra effect so you don't get bitten.